So how exactly does bright gums work? Well, bright gums uses radio energy to effectively separate two layers of tissue, the top layer, which is epithelium, and the bottom layer, which is connective tissue. And it turns out that the melanocytes live in the basal cells, which are in the bottom layer of the epithelial layer. So if you recall from dental school, there were two layers. The top layer, I like to use this analogy, it kind of looks like Velcro. The top layer interdigitates with the connective tissue with the reedy pegs, and the bottom is the connective tissue papilla. And they interdigitate like Velcro, and that's so that it's nice and tough and strong. And so where the melanocytes live is they live in the bottom layer, the basal layer, the very bottom layer of the top, uh, the bottom of the epithelium. And what, this, what happens when we apply the radio energy at the right frequency with the right, uh, with the right brush is it effectively just pulls the top layer of Velcro off, leaving the connective tissue intact. Now, here's the neat thing. The connective tissue is where the blood supply and the nerves live. So people say, well, how painful is the Brightcomes procedure? And I say, well, it's not terribly painful. Now, there is some discomfort that people are going to notice something's been done. But in terms of like magnitude, many times, uh, in fact, it's very rare that I give anything more than just over-the-counter pain meds because it's just not that invasive. There is a change in diet, clearly. If you take the epithelium off, you're not going to want to eat anything that has spicy or acidic or salty foods for the first few days as you're healing. But beyond that, there's not a lot associated with it. So the way that it works is that the radio energy selectively chooses the epithelium. It stays in the epithelium. It doesn't go into the connective tissue. Now, the back story to this, it gets a little bit more complicated because it has to do with something called impedance. So if you're an electrical engineer, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But trust me, it has to do with, imagine it like resistance to electricity flowing. So electricity is like water. It follows the path of least resistance. It follows the path of the epithelium because there's less resistance there and there's more water there. In the connective tissue, the collagen itself, it's a little bit more dense. It doesn't have as much moisture. So there's a barrier layer between the two called the basal cells and the uh, radio energy contains itself within that and creates this separating effect. So it's, it's just a lovely solution. And when you actually are done, if you take a photograph with your macro camera, you can zoom in and see the connective tissue papilla staring right at you. You're looking right at collagen, which I always find really uh, cool. And I like to share with the patients because we talk so much about collagen, right? We talk about you should be eating collagen for your health. We talk about uh, collagen for uh, all of the cosmetics that people put on their faces to try to make them look younger and stay younger looking over time. So collagen's in the news all the time. And, and, and we don't oftentimes have a chance to actually see it. And when you see it, and it's just this beautiful thing, it's kind of fun. So when you do the bright gums procedure, it's just really cool because you can see collagen, uh, which is something that uh, other than maybe some periodontists isn't very often seen. Thanks for checking out bright gums. If you're interested in becoming an authorized provider in your neck of the woods, please go to our website and sign up for our course.